Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to stream with your Xbox Series X. Uh, the concept of the streaming is a bit of it's a bit different if I compare the Xbox Series X versus the PS5. The PS5 have some kind of like integrate um, streaming slash share platform in the US. So uh, you don't have to like to, to download the Twitch app and stuff like that. On the Xbox Series X, you can't like record yourself, take picture and stuff like that. But you can't stream with the share option. So you really need to download the Twitch app. So just download the Twitch app. Open it. After that, you will have to activate your Twitch. So you will need like a mobile phone or a desktop like a computer uh, and it needs to be connected to your account. So you just go on twitch.tv slash activate. Uh, the Xbox will give you a, a code that you will enter on your uh, account on the um, on your mobile phone or desktop and everything will be synced. So you don't need to like to transfer some keys and stuff like that. Everything will be uh, sync. So now you click on the broadcast and this is pretty much where you do your stuff. So first of all, destination, you have two options. You can stream on Twitch or for your sub only. Well, normally you just choose a Twitch. Right now I can't select my camera because I don't have any camera plugged in, but you can, uh, all the options will be there. Uh, broadcast bar position, this is like the overlay from uh, Twitch or where your chat will be, number of viewers and stuff like that. So you can change it whatever you want in your screen. After that, the microphone, uh, if you plug the microphone in, it will be there. After that, you have the uh, game and after, also you have the party chat. This is very nice if I compare with the PS5 because you have a lot of different options. So yesterday I did a test on my PS5 and I, I, w I was struggling between the sound of my microphone and the game. The game was too loud. So this is really cool because you can just manage your microphone and game in the same place. So for example, I can put my game, I don't know, at like 50 and uh, my microphone, I can put it at like 80, 100, whatever. So now you will have a nice balance between your voice and your game. So you have a lot of different options. Also, you can mute your party chat if you don't want your chat uh, on your stream. After that, bitrate. This is also a nice feature if I compare with the PS5 because in the PS5 right now, you're just telling the console to stream a resolution and a number of uh, FPS. But here you can change your bitrate. So this is pretty much, this is pretty nice. The maximum bitrate that you can use is 6,500. Um, if you don't know your upload speed, just press automatic. It will search it for you and they, they will recommend a nice bitrate. Uh, but honestly, if you have more than 10 Mbit with your upload, 6,500 is pretty easy to do. After that, you have the stream resolution. The only thing that it's currently missing, I feel like the amount of FPS when you stream. So you don't, you can do like 720, 30, 60 FPS, 1080, 30 or 60 FPS. So you just have a resolution. I did a test with the, the console. I went uh, 1080p uh, with the full amount of bitrate. And honestly, it doesn't look good. Uh, the best that you can do, it's really 720p uh, at 6,500. I feel like you're not necessarily streaming with the processor in the Xbox. You're, you're probably using the encoder from the GPU. The GPU is from AMD, so you don't have the latest version of NVEC from NVIDIA. So it's not that great, but honestly, 720p at 6,500 looks okay. It's, it's good. Like nobody will complain about the image, but at 1080p, you will see too much artifact blurriness and stuff like that. So this is pretty much it for the setup. After that, you just change your uh, uh, the, the the title of your stream over there. The game will be auto they will add the game automatically because after that, when you start your stream, you have to go in your game to really start the stream. When you are in your menu, the stream will not go live, so you really need to open a game. And also, something is kind of strange because if you switch game, your stream stream will close, so you need to restart your stream. That's kind of pain in the ass. Like they should just put like some kind of like a background photo, like uh, the streamer is coming soon uh, or you will be back, something like that. So this is kind of pain in the ass. But anyway, this is uh, where you will select your language if you want to change the language of your stream. So French, English, whatever you want to use. And after that, when you want to stream, you press start streaming. So this is pretty much it. If you want to control your stream, they recommend to download the app on your mobile phone. So if you want, like, I don't know, like you make sure that you, you need like to ban someone to do something on your stream because you can't really do it on the um, Twitch app on the Xbox. 
And also, something is really weird right now. I, I add like some random loop. So for example, I was starting my stream. I don't see my image. And my Twitch channel was saying that I was live. And when I go on it, it was just like an infinite loading. And even if I close my stream, even if I close my console, my Twitch was in some kind of loop. So I just wait like for 30 minutes and I was still kind of streaming it was just like some kind of loading but after 30 minutes i was like i'm not too sure what i'm supposed to do so i went back on my computer start a stream and close the stream with obs and it closed my stream on uh my channel so a bit weird and it happened when i close another stream uh this morning so not too sure probably a bug right now but look at it like when you close your stream or you start your stream go on your stream just to make sure that is it running properly and is it closing properly because something is wrong right now so that's about it for the guide guys if you have any question just comment in the youtube section uh any question about like how to set up your stream upload internet speed and stuff like that i will try to help you the best that i can and don't forget to subscribe to the channel peace